Just did a bad thing. I bought all this freaking stuff. Hey guys, it's Tiffany. What is freaking up, you guys? As you can tell, I did a little bit of retail therapy over the last few weeks. I figured in today's vlog, we're just gonna open up a bunch of packages. I feel over freaking whelmed. We got Christmas gifts, we got PR packages, we got stuff for myself as well because I gotta spoil myself sometime once in a while. Also, I am so sorry if you guys see a nip slip, not gonna lie. Not wearing a bra right now, but you know, free the nipples. Honestly, if you got small titties, like I do, it's okay not to freaking wear a bra once in a while. So, Callie, if you see a nip slip, I feel even more sorry for you because you're the one that has to edit it out. First package we got is from Kate Somerville. Oh my god! <gasps> Yo, Kate Somerville, what the actual F? They gave me so many of their Kate Somerville exfoliates. These are actually one of my favorite products from Kate Somerville. I like to use this every single time I take a shower. After I wash my face, I apply this all over my face for two minutes and literally my face feels so buttery soft that's a great start to this unboxing today this one is actually from my sister my sister Tammy came over and she accidentally grabbed my eyelash curler by mistake and this is the shoot we eyelash curler she stole mine and I was like girl I need that back because it's the only eyelash curler that works for me what the actual heck she didn't take swimsuits from me, but she wrapped it in a bra. You know what? That That's some good padding right there. A 32A, that's exactly my size. Maybe she's telling me that she wants to give this to me. Not only did I get a new bra, I freaking got my favorite eyelash curler back. If you guys have not tried the Shu Uimura eyelash curler, you guys need to try it. You know what? I actually should do something that I bought myself. I think I'm going to open these Nasty Gal packages. I've been wanting to open them for so long. I bought two of these babies. Like, hardcore bought a bunch of stuff from Nasty Gal because it was 60% off, I think. It's always 60% off, not gonna lie. I think they were having like an extra like 10 or 15% off during Black Friday and I happened to miss the sale by like two hours. So I was really sad, but I still bought everything that I put in my little cart. It's been like three full weeks since I bought this. What is in here? I think they got shoes. Ah! Ah! Oh, the Hulk is here. Oh my God, I got so many shoes. Here, oh, ooh. Oh, I forgot I got these. So we got some cute little biker boots. I honestly feel like I'm gonna look like such a badass in these. Even just wearing them with like the outfit that I have on right now. I feel like these are super wearable. I also got another pair of shoes. Oh, I didn't even realize I got these. So the front half of these boots are suede and the back half of these boots are like crocodile skin. Of course, it's faux because we're talking about $30 shoes from Nasty Gal. I don't actually have boots that have a high heel like this all the boots that I currently have are just kind of like mini heels and your girl needs to like add a few inches to her body because I'm only five two and a half gotta add the freaking half did anyone else get the like sucky jeans in their family because my sister Tammy has double D boobs and is five, five and a half, almost five, six. Uh, I'm five two with uh, double A's. And then my other sister is like a mixture of us two. She is five, five and a half, almost five, six, I believe as well. But she has A boobies like I do. So it's like, she's like a in between. How did my mom and my older sister like get blessed with double D boobs? I'm pretty sure my mom got a breast reduction and I'm like, I'd love to have that. Actually, I don't want to have that issue because I do like my small boobs. With that being said, I got these boots just so that I can pretend that I'm tall. The next thing I got from Nasty Gal are these like casual but also like dressed up shirts slash jackets. This is so thin but you're supposed to wear it kind of like an overcoat. This one is made out of corduroy. I think it's so adorable. So like either I can just wear it like this and like tuck it into my jeans or I can wear it as a dress or I can wear it as a cardigan. Imagine if I was wearing like a white tank top underneath this. A vibe. I dig it. So cute. Next package we got is another Nasty Gal package. Oh, imagine that was the noise I made during sex. Ugh. I would literally hate myself. Honestly, don't remember half the shit I got. Oh, this is a waffle polo sweatshirt. I dig these like polo shirts because you can layer them underneath your shirts and it just adds like a little bit of pop or I can rock it by itself and not layer it with anything. Literally, this feels like Christmas because I can't remember half the stuff I bought myself. Next piece of item that we got is this freaking long jacket. This is cute. Oh, oh, and we got pockets. <gasps> 
that's cute. Matt and I have been thinking about moving to Denver and it's something that I need to talk to you guys about in a different video. We have exciting news that I wanna share with you guys. So uh, this will be perfect. Oh, that smells so bad though. That literally smells like a factory. Next thing I got is a purse. This is so cute. Oh, it feels very cheap. I'm not gonna lie, but like very cute. By the way, I will link everything that I got from Nasty Gal and any of these other brands down below for you guys if you guys wanna check them out yourselves. But I got this cow print shoulder bag. Wait, that is actually so adorable. Ah, so cute. Also, I'm so sorry for calling everything cute, but like there are only so many words. Okay, next item I got. Oh, these are fun. Wait, they're kind of see-through. I've been buying a lot more clothes that aren't jeans. I'm not as comfortable wearing jeans anymore. I like wearing loose fitted pants. So I've been buying like a lot of these like cropped pants and stuff. So I can wear this super casual with like a white top or a sweater, or I can make it like super fancy by wearing it with all black and like a nice leather jacket. All right, next item. The next item we got is this plaid skirt. This is way too big for me. I can tell already. Actually, you know what? It might be doable. It might be something I have to like sew myself, but I'd be down to do that but I can see myself wearing this with like my cropped polo that I just purchased or like a cropped sweater I'm excited to see how I wear that you guys will see also I got myself a belt because uh, I need to stop doing the TikTok hack of tying shoelaces on my freaking jeans. I feel like it looks cheap. I like the look of it from the front, from the back. It just looks really cheap. I do think wearing belts do make me look a little bit boxy because I do have a boxy fit. But I want to see if this belt is small enough for me. <gasps> no, it's too big. There's not enough holes. God, I hate that. This belt is so cute though. We'll be returning this belt. Next item we have. I feel like such a fraud buying this. I have a David Bowie shirt, and not gonna lie, I could not tell you one David Bowie song. If someone put a gun to my head and was like, name your favorite David Bowie song, I'd be like, <laughs> So I think now that I have this shirt, I should probably uh, look into it and find a song or two of his that I really enjoy. It was supposed to be oversized and this guy is barely oversized. We might possibly return this one and buy a bigger size. Next thing we got is a corduroy jacket. They have this in so many colors and I had the hardest time choosing which color to get. And I went for the dark blue color because I actually don't have a jacket in this color although this jacket does not feel very warm at all you definitely need to like layer in this jacket it was just like a cool like vibey oversized corduroy jacket this is more like an oversized look which is definitely the style that is in right now. It's like very trendy to like wear clothes that look like you took it out of your boyfriend's closet. Oh, uh, we got a cropped cardigan. So cute. You guys can already see what that looks like on. That's actually really, really freaking adorable. All right, we're down to our last four items. We got a bunch of skirts. Just because I'm trying to find more bottoms to wear, I keep wearing the same bottoms over and over again. I'm hoping to expand my bottoms. This one is very interesting. It kind of reminds me of like the 70s a little funky. The silhouette of it is very funky. So I was thinking of wearing it super high-waisted and then wearing even like a cropped sweater like this on top. So cute. And then wearing my new boots with them. Kind of funky, kind of 70s. So I also got myself a little wrap skirt as well. Same kind of funkiness where it has like all the flares and ruffles at the bottom. But this one you can wrap together so that it fits you a little bit better just in case it's a little too big. You can wrap it around yourself. And then the last skirt I got is very holiday spirit. I was thinking I need like outfits for Christmas day even though like I'm not really doing anything Christmas day. I honestly think this might be a little too big for me. It looks very loose but luckily it is a wrap skirt so I can make it a little bit shorter but I would totally wear this with like a white cute sweater and just like kind of tuck it in and make it look very holiday-ish but that one's cute. And then we got one last thing from Nasty Gal. I got myself some earrings. I've been super into butterflies. Honestly, I don't know if I would wear these. I'm really into hoops, not these types of earrings, but this was really cute. I think this was a couple dollars, maybe like three or four dollars, and I just thought maybe I'll try them out. All right, guys, I had to bring out my studio lights because it's getting super freaking dark. Honestly, you guys will be surprised at how many PR packages I get where I'm like, how the freak did you guys get my address? Like, it doesn't make any sense how you guys got my address, but they'll be sending me stuff. Oh, it's beer minerals. Like, literally, I've never gotten a package 
package from Bare Minerals before and somehow they know my address. Oh, their packaging is so cute. I did not know they had skincare. So this is what I got in the package. It comes with their Phyto Retinol product line. I can't wait to try that, so thank you. Next box we have is from Pixie Beauty. I never know what I'm gonna get because they have so many products in their line, which is very cool. Oh, we have minis. How cute, I love mini shit. So adorable. And then we got another set of mini. Guys, I like get so happy when I get skincare. You guys know I'm like a little skincare slug. All right, what do we have next? We have a package from L'Oreal. Whoa, okay, so ever since the pandemic, I feel like I haven't been able to take care of my hair as well as I used to because I would go into my salon to get it toned and glossed like every like two or three months. I've only been once this year and L'Oreal came out with a product where you can just gloss your hair at home, which is so, so cool. So this is definitely a product I will be trying out. All right, next box I got is from Adam and Matter. I believe this is Bethany Moda's brand. I could be completely wrong. Like I'm pretty sure it's her brand and I'm so proud of her. Like literally Bethany Moda. I hate saying was my childhood because I'm older than her, but also like I still watch her videos to this day. Wait, that's so cool. Look at this guys. Bethany, ooh, ooh, what do we have here? It says, create your universe. That's so cute. Okay, so it's ethically handcrafted, responsibly sourced, made to make an impact. Also, by the way, if you guys had no idea, I think it's called Adam and Matter because Adam is Moda backwards, like M-O-T-A-A-T-O-M. So they gave me, oh my God, they gave me three pieces. We got a little star. I think this is a bracelet. I could be completely wrong. Or it might actually be a necklace. Oh, this one's a necklace and this one has a little diamond in it. This is a star as well. Oh, these are cute. These are little hoop earrings. Oh my God. I'm actually gonna wear these right now. Oh, it has like a star at the end. <gasps> Whoa, the backing is a star. Can you guys see that? That's cool. This was a really nice little gift here. And they actually feel like really good quality pieces as well, but they're so lightweight at the same time. Super comfortable, very proud of my Bethany. All right, next package we got is from Sephora. I actually bought this myself. This is a Christmas gift. It's for a dude. I bought cologne because I'm like, what do you buy a dude that literally has everything and can afford anything they want and are super hard and bougie to shop for? I bought a Mont Blanc Legend Eau de Perfume. I literally I bought this because it had the nicest freaking packaging. It looked so classy, so bougie. So on Sephora, you can get a bunch of samples whenever you check out. And I got like the coolest, cutest little thing. I got a mini Volupsa candle. This was for free. Oh my God, it smells so good. This is Goji Taroko Orange. Holy shit, that is the best smelling candle I've ever smelled. Look how tiny it is. It's like a little tea light. It's so cute. So what do we got here, ladies? We got, I don't know the brand. Um, It doesn't say oh it's zit sticker we got a zit sticker package so we have a goo getter which is zit clarifying dots that you just like put on your skin it's like a little band-aid i believe we also have a hydrogel exfoliate hydrogel exfoliating sheet mask how cool. All right, next package we got is from Pims, New Jersey. Not really sure what that is. Oh my God. It's from Daisy Mark Jacobs. <gasps> Holy cow, that's so cute. Let's see what's in here together. Wishing you a festive holiday season and a happy and healthy 2021. That's so cool. This is a black Daisy. I've never seen one in black. Oh. Oh, she's not black at all. She's yellow. I think this might just be their normal daisy scent. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, that is such a good scent. Thank you guys so much. The next package we have is from Urban Outfitters. I actually bought these items myself during Black Friday because they were having like 25% off. We got some Christmas stuff. Oh my God, these are so cute. So I bought these like Christmas tree candles that I will never burn in a million years because it's for the aesthetic, not for the light. So cute, it has a little bit of glitter on it. Not as cute as the mini munchkin, but like still very adorable. She's kind of a little lopsided. So I bought 
plates for myself. I wanted to change it up because I've been using the same plates for three years for the last three Thanksgivings. I already bought two of these, which is why I wanted to buy more of them because they're so freaking pretty. And Matt's gonna hate this because like they're so hard to like stack on top of each other because they're not even. Look how cute are these plates? They're like the phases of the moon. So I bought four of those. I don't feel like opening them, but just know that I bought four of them and they're all in this box right now. <gasps> Whoa, what's this? Oh my god, it's a McDonald's? Wait, this is so pretty. Look at this. Do you guys see that? It's like a little gingerbread house. Oh my god, is this all that's in here? So unnecessary, but it's a freaking McDonald's. I got a freaking McDonald's sweater. It's actually kind of cute. Ugly sweater, cute, not like cute, 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 but like cute enough, you know? That's adorable. Thank you, McDonald's. Next thing we are opening. This is a Christmas present. Matt and I have decided to let each other know what we wanted for Christmas this year because this Christmas is such a weird Christmas with the pandemic going on. We like just wanted to tell each other exactly what we wanted to not like waste money or anything. But I got these really nice snow snowboarding boots and they look so cool. Burton is one of the cooler snowboarding brands out there. They're like really just a snowboarding brand. I don't think they do ski stuff. They have like the best quality stuff in my opinion. These are the boots I got him. Okay, not gonna lie, did not think this is what they were gonna look like in real life. I don't know what I was expecting. It's almost supposed to be like camouflage-like or snakeskin-like and it also has like these snaps so they easily tighten right here so you can get in and out of them really easily. I'm gonna put these away before he sees them. Did you just hear everything I said? Ha! Ah! So, I did not know this, but Matt was in his freaking bathroom the entire time with the bathroom door opened. Do you want to see your snowboarding boots? No, I didn't hear anything you said. Oh, you didn't? Oh, never mind. He didn't hear anything. What? Don't look. All right guys, so that's literally everything I got in this freaking haul. Look at this mess. I need to show you guys this crazy ass mess that we have now. We have so much packages, so I'm actually gonna clean this up right now. I'm also starving. I haven't ate yet, and I was gonna film a drunk Q&A tonight, and I think I need to like eat a solid meal before I do that. I really want noodles and eggs. Like that sounds so good right now. Also, P.S., if you guys are wondering how my lighting, what my lighting situation looks like, this is what it looks like. So I have LED lights on this side, and this little light box right here that I got from Amazon. I have two of these, but I only need one because it's so freaking bright. I'll link both these products down below for you guys. All right, let's get cleaning. guys little update here I cleaned the room I put everything away there was so much stuff it took me 45 minutes Matt and I just went to Panda Express so I got fried rice with honey walnut shrimp and orange chicken <laughs> next day now. I am a little buzz. I just finished filming my truth or drink video. Sorry I didn't vlog a bunch last night but last night Matt and I just had our Panda Express. We went on the couch. We watched a bunch of movies. We just had like a really chill night. I am currently working on my gingerbread houses. I made a video where I got drunk, made a bunch of gingerbread houses and I didn't finish them because the video was getting so long so I just wanted to finish them with you guys here. I'm going for a very white theme as you guys can see. That's because they're so tiny that like it's gonna be so hard for me to decorate them with candy, but I kind of like the white and brown theme I'm going for. It's very aesthetic. Right now, I'm trying to order some DoorDash. I'm trying to order myself some boba. That sounds so good, but like real food sounds really good as well. Okay, so I added some artificial lights because it was getting really dark in here. I just spent $15 because if you spend less than $10, there's a delivery fee. And if you spend less than $12, there's a $3 small cart fee. I had to add like extra things to my cart. So really every single time I order boba, it's like a $16 thing. Oh my God, 16 times 30 days. That's like $480 if I got it every day. Thank God I'm only down to like five days a week. That's so bad.
Okay guys, so I just finished making my gingerbread houses. Can you guys see them? They're right behind me. Look how cute they are. My boba came. I drank most of it, half of it. But Matt and I are about to grab food. We're gonna go to Cava, which is like one of our favorite Mediterranean spots. But I just wanted to show you guys these chips. I don't know if you guys have ever had these before. Honestly, they're kind of expensive. They're $8 per bag. But these are the salted egg potato chips. The first time I had them, I thought they were disgusting. And now I keep buying them and they're so freaking expensive. It literally seems Seems like they like sprinkled the hard boiled egg all over these chips and I kind of like it. They're so good. It's like potatoes, vegetable oil, salted duck eggs. Salted duck eggs. They're addicting. But I do want to show you guys my gingerbread houses. All right, we got our three little houses. So adorable. So freaking cute. We're back. Also, I need to talk to you guys about this cute ass outfit I'm wearing because I just really like the outfit. I think it might be head to toe Nasty Gal. Holy shit. I just got this at Nasty Gal. I also just got this at Nasty Gal. So I'll link it down below. I got this a while ago. So I'll try to link it if I still have it. But I'm wearing my Air Forces. We just got back from Trader Joe's in Cava and got a bunch of food for us to last the entire week. My favorite thing to do after I get back from the grocery store is taking everything out just to see everything I got and then putting it away. All right, this is kind of the haul we got here. So this is everything that we got from Trader Joe's. We got a bunch of meats to last us this week. We got gnocchi, we got pastas. We got these pretzel sticks. I was trying to find the Borson cheese I like to dip these in. I couldn't find it, so I'm gonna have to go to Ralph sometime this week to eat these. We got my favorite chocolate covered pretzels. This was a combination of both Matt and I's food for the week. Plus we have a bunch of food here as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. All right, I think we're gonna hang out on the TV and eat some food. Hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.